Let's start with the major new feature in version 5.0. Namely, we have improved our commenting solution in both the Zebra BI tables and the Zebra BI charts visual. So let me illustrate this. I have a waterfall chart here um, displaying um, growth from previous year. All right, now I want to comment on this chart and I do have a data field called the comment that I will add to my visual. So place it into the placeholder here, comments placeholder. And what I've got on a chart are two markers, okay, that uh, mark the presence of the comments on specific data points. So this is what we had before. You see the comment markers. Now the users can hover with their mouse over the comment marker and they will see the text of the comment in the tooltip. All right. This is what we had before. Now, what's new is that if you navigate under the settings, you will find a new setting called the comment box. Simply turn it on. All right. What you have now is a new element on the visual that displays the comments. All right. This element is, is a little bit smart. Okay. So what it does is it actually generates completely automatically the title of the comment uh, consisting of the uh, category name. So in my case, this first comment refers to Q1. So I have the Q1 here, then I have the value of this specific data point. And if you have a comparison in your chart, namely, if you have at least two measures uh, in your visual, then you will also get the automatically uh, calculated um, difference between the measures. All right, so the variance is there and there's this little up, down triangle, red and green, depending on the uh, uh, whether the variance is positive or negative. Below that you have the text and everything. So this is completely dynamic. It will change if you have filters and so on. It will respond if you resize the, the chart and we have this in both the Zebra BI charts visual and the Zebra BI tables visual. So let me just uh, show quickly another example. This time I'm using the Zebra BI tables visual. So as you can see, I now have a complete report um, uh, and it is uh, done. It is created with only one Zebra BI tables visual. Okay, and everything works. So uh, the comments are completely dynamic. So if I switch my period here from to April, now I have four comments, as you see on the right side. Um, if I switch to May, I have only two comments and so on. I can actually, you know, uh, flip around some, some other slicers that I have on my, on my page. So the whole report page is done only with one visual and it has all the elements, including the comment box there. So uh, I hope that this function will uh, help you create more understandable and more actionable reports and dashboards in Power BI.